It's Ron Brown with Tech for Seniors. You know, as a physician, when working in the hospital, I had to make split-second life-saving decisions. This last week, when I noticed my Pixel 3 had a swollen battery, I had to make a very quick life-saving decision. Yes, I'm okay. There was no fire. There was no explosion. And my house didn't burn down. But it could have. And today I want to tell you what you should do if you have a swollen cell phone battery. Three things that you need to know to stay safe. Let's get on with it. Now you know the routine. If you like this video, please click the like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Now in this picture, you'll see my swollen Pixel 3 phone. Again, please stay watching till the end of the video and I'm going to tell you three things that you need to know to keep you and your family safe when using a lithium ion battery. Let's look at the history of my Pixel 3 cell phone. I purchased it from Google Fi in November 2018. Google Fi is the cell phone wing of Google, so I purchased it right from the source. I purchased it and quickly got a protective case cover for it, and it has never been dropped. I use it a lot, and it's charged by my bedside. It's charged with a Pixel wireless charging stand. The important thing for you to know is that my phone was working just fine. I had no idea that this disaster was about to occur. But there were some clues. Let's look at some of them. About two months ago, I noticed that the volume control on the right side of the phone didn't work. Now, this was most annoying, particularly in the morning when I often listen to podcasts, and I had to manually go in and set the volume level to listen to podcasts. I took the phone out of the case, and the volume control started to work again. Well, I put it back in the case and thought, it's another challenge, and I'd look at that later, which I never did. The phone stayed charged and it really had no problem with it, although it did seem excessively hot when I used it for duo calls with my friends. My plan was to continue with using the phone and purchase a Pixel 6 this October. I sort of knew it would probably be reaching the end of its life now, but really had no clue what was about to happen. Now, last Saturday morning, I was listening to a friend of mine tell a long story. We were at a table and I put my cell phone on the table and was fidgeting a bit. And when I looked at my cell phone, I noticed a couple of things. And the first thing that struck me was it didn't fit in the case properly. And if you look on the right side at the top of the picture, you will see that in fact the cell phone is not fitting in the case properly as it is at the other end. Now if you look at the picture at the bottom of your screen, you'll see my cell phone. It is not fitting in the case. You can actually see on close inspection that there is a little bit of a bulge there. The other thing that you can't see is the phone didn't sit flat on the table in the case. So there's a couple of clues here um, that would make you suspicious and it did and that is how I discovered this. But the point that I'm making here is that the case will often conceal the swelling. And if you look at the picture at the top, the problem is obvious. You'll see that the back of the phone is quite swollen and you'll start to see that the battery cover is coming off. And this became very apparent when I took the phone out of the case. Now, the other thing that you should know is that in some phones, the battery is at the back of the phone. And this makes it very difficult to see the problem when it's in a cell phone case. And that was certainly the case with my Pixel 3. Now in the bottom diagram, this is an iPhone that has a swollen battery. It's much easier to see because the swelling occurs at the front of the phone and wouldn't necessarily be hidden by the case. So remember, some phones have the battery in the front, some have the bat some have the battery in the back. Well, what explodes? Well, phones don't explode, but lithium ion batteries do. Explosions, fire, and personal injury are all on the increase 
as we use more lithium ion batteries. Remember, lithium ion batteries create intense heat with the fire and are not extinguishable by water. Fires often occur while charging. And remember, I'm not singling out my Pixel 3 as a big problem because all phones are susceptible to this. In fact, there were 20 phones ahead of mine when I was getting a new battery put in of all makes and models. So why does this happen? If you look at the picture in the bottom left, you'll see my swollen lithium battery and what a normal lithium ion battery should look like. If you turn my battery on its side, you'll see that in fact, you can see how swollen it was. Each battery has different electrodes and the charging speed may be too fast. The chip on the phone that monitors the charging level can fail. The battery can be damaged with a fall, or it may be a manufacturing problem with the actual battery. Let's talk more about that. Now in the next slide, I'm going to show you some examples of fires that occur with lithium ion batteries. On the left side, you'll see my swollen battery. Now, wouldn't it just be interesting just to put a knife in that and see what is inside? Let's see what happens if you did that. Watch the picture on the bottom right. Fire, explosion, an injury. Yes. Let's have a look at the next view. Now I want you to pay close attention to this next video clip. It's at a cell phone counter and someone is looking at a battery. And watch what happens. It happens very quickly. Yes, I'm sure there was serious injury. Now let's look at the next slide. You'll see in this picture, you'll see a lady who has a cell phone in her purse. This is going to explode. And I want you to watch and see what happens. Now, can you imagine what would happen if she had that phone up against her ear or under her pillow at night? It is amazing the power of that explosion and the intensity of the heat. All right, now let's look at a cell phone that's just charging and see what happens. Quite an explosion. This summer has had record heat waves. This makes the inside of your car very, very hot. One of the tips you can have is just don't leave your cell phone charging in your car. This can have big consequences for your battery. Heat is not a friend of your battery and will lead to what you've seen in the video previously. Conversely, many of you don't remember, but it actually gets cold in this world and freezes. Remember snow? Remember that concept of snow? Freezing and frost? Well, freezing your battery can equally be a problem. So again, treat your phone with care. Don't leave it in the car. Don't leave it in extremely hot conditions and don't let it freeze. Now my recommendations, and we'll get to the three tips in just a minute. If your battery is hot, unplug it and let it cool down. Don't buy cheap or unreliable chargers. This is often a big problem and a cause of these battery explosions. Don't buy cheap batteries and attempt to fix them yourself. Most of the battery failures that you saw in the video today were batteries that were put in as an aftermarket battery selection. This can be disastrous. Do not put these phones under your pillow. Again, that can be really a bad situation. 
If your battery is losing power, see an authorized dealer and don't carry your phone or your power bank in your back pocket. Two things can happen. You can sit on it and it can deform and bend the battery causing a puncture and of course you saw the problem that could have. And also sitting on your bum, it causes a lot of heat. And again, this is bad for your battery. Okay, let's get to my three recommendations. Take your phone out of the case and inspect it once a month. Lay it on a table, see if it lays flat. Look at it sideways. I missed the clue on my cell phone. So it's important that you do this once a month or if you have any problems with your cell phone, do it more frequently. Once you identify a swollen battery, get immediate help. This potentially is a very serious problem and you should not charge the phone again once you have identified a swollen battery. The battery has a potential of fire and explosion which cause, could cause serious injury and burns to yourself or even burn your house down with loss of life. If you do purchase a new phone, please make sure you don't put the phone in a drawer and just leave it. Once that battery is swollen, it is a potential bomb. You need to have that safely disposed of. And last, the third recommendation is never attempt to change the battery yourself. This is a very dangerous situation and please leave this to a reputable certified expert. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Seniors. Thanks for watching. Please remember the like and subscribe. If you like the video, click the like. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Till we see you at our next video, have a great day.